Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for stopping back by the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Flykeeps Tetra 60. Flykeeps was nice enough to send this out for me to do some photos and video content of the board. All around, I'll just say right off the bat, I was totally blown away by this board. I typically am not somebody who enjoys a 60% layout. It just feels a little too claustrophobic for me. But this board, I ranked on stream a 9.3 out of 10. Which for me, for a 60%, that is insanely high. So let's get into the reasons why I feel this way about the board. And let's take a closer look at the build. So what's really cool about this keyboard is that there are two different mounting styles. One is a tadpole mount, which uses these little silicone tips that you shove into the plate that mounts it to the top of the keyboard. The other is an O-ring mount where a ring sits between the plate and the PCB that rests on these posts around the edge of the case. Between the two mounting styles, I didn't even have a preference between which one I liked more than the other. I think the O-ring provided a nice overall sound, however the tadpoles made the alpha sound really bright and the space where I had this really nice sound signature to it. We'll take a closer look at both builds later on in the video. In this build, I tried out some new stabilizers. They were sent over to me from my friends over at Keepfront. There's this nice HDPE material stabilizer, which they tell me should make our stabilizers have a little bit more of a deeper sound signature. For the switches in this build, I used the Keeps For All Pink Robin switches. These are a pre-looped, hand-looped switch from the factory. And straight out of the bag, they were incredible. And they also come in this really cute packaging as well. We're also using the matching desk mat for today's video. I wanted to go for an all pink look today and I think we nailed that perfectly. This board blew me away in the fact that it required no foam to sound incredible. Most of the time you need a piece of case foam or plate foam to get rid of some sort of resonance or ringing within keyboards or hollowness even. In this keyboard, I didn't encounter any of that at all. From start to finish, the build is super smooth and no foam required to get a super awesome build. For 60%, this amount of specs on a keyboard is actually crazy and it's super awesome to see all of this inside this board. I think it's a very innovative board in how it looks. It doesn't really look too boring because of all these nice shapes and curves and edges throughout the design, but it also doesn't look too in your face to where it's distracting at all. I think this is a perfect middle ground in terms of a design for a keyboard. So let's go ahead and take a listen to how this board sounds with the tadpole mount versus the o-ring mount. Everything else is exactly the same.
So my final thoughts on this board. As I said before in the video, I rated this a 9.3 out of 10. It felt incredible, it sounded incredible, it looked incredible. The only thing for me that stopped it from hitting a 10 was the layout. I still am not really a big fan of 60%. However, I think right here, this board is flawless. And if you're into 60%, I don't know a better option at the moment. So thank you once again Flykeeps for letting me check out the Tetra 60. It was genuinely a joy to check out and I hope all of you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for all the love and support as always and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll key you later.